The past finally came crashing into Georgia's present and now where it goes from here is going to be pure chaos as a lot is going to happen in season three. When viewers thought Georgia was finally settling well in Wellsbury and even having a big wedding with the mayor, Georgia had to ruin it all by getting rid of Tom. So nothing is going to be the same again for the Millers. And the first thing Georgia will try to do now is get out of jail on time so she can sort things out with her family and even apologize. And that's how she usually takes care of things. Georgia has never had to be taken away from her kids like that before. And because she's now married to a mayor, they could pull a few strings in season three that could at least afford Georgia bail or an excellent lawyer to dismiss the case. Unlike other crimes that Georgia has committed in the past, this one is different because she felt she was doing Cynthia's family a favor by choking Tom out with a pillow to stop him from suffering so much longer. And this point could stand up in court and get her out since her intentions were pure, even though she did it against the family's wishes. Speaking of the mayor, Paul has been able to accommodate so much with Georgia from allowing her exes freely back into their home to even hanging out with one of them, Zion, occasionally. There's a limit to what a man can take, especially the one who needs to be in people's good books to get re-elected back into office. And he's been more like a father to Ginny and Austin. But in season three, Paul might start giving up on Georgia even if he gets to help her stay out of jail. Paul will begin discovering some tiny pieces of harmful information Georgia might have kept away from him. And he will need answers that Georgia isn't ready for. So this new marriage between Paul and Georgia is already rocky, and there's no hope that they will ever get to go on a honeymoon like every other normal couple. If Georgia gets released and Paul becomes unsure about continuing, Joe might use that opportunity to step in. Many fans are rooting for Joe and Georgia to be together, but Joe always seems to hold back from pursuing Georgia, and it's evident that the feelings he has for her are never going to end. So it might be time for this ship between Joe and Georgia to sail in season three. It's going to be complicated, of course. Anyone who falls in love with Georgia shouldn't expect everything to be smooth, because it never will be. There's also Gil, right in the middle of all of these, and he's going to use George's arrest to his advantage in season three. And the Miller family is about to change forever. Gil won't stop until he gets custody of Austin, and with how Georgia got rid of Tom while Austin watched, there's a good case for him to build on. And as an ex-Fallon, the charges against him weren't as much as the crime of getting rid of a person, so the court might trust him better to handle Austin even if Georgia gets out. Also, there seems to be Georgia's effect that every lover on the show is now aware of, which is that men don't find it easy to stop loving Georgia. It could be because these exes have children with her, or it could just be because Georgia is so gorgeous. But Zion might never be able to take things seriously with Simone in season three. It's getting there, and it's looking like Simone might move in with Zion in season three. But with Georgia still in the picture, it's a long thing to wish for. Aside from Georgia being surrounded by all these men who refuse to get over her, the daughter, Ginny, is struggling with her relationship with Marcus. And they could pretend to be friends again or get back together in season three. But this relationship isn't going to be easy because Marcus is aware of what Georgia did in the past. And now it's obvious that Mark isn't always in his right state of mind. He gets drunk and his depressing episodes are scary. He could just let it all out in season three, including Georgia's big secret, and that will further ruin the relationship he has with Ginny. And there's no hope that everything will be fine with these two. Hunter was a good boyfriend to Ginny, but now there's nothing more for this character arc after that. He will never get over Ginny and could keep pretending that they can be friends in season three. But really, the show isn't about to make Hunter go through the same thing he did in season two. So there could be some bit of drama next season as Ginny could get to some melting points. And of course, Marcus is no longer in the picture. And that could be the perfect time for Hunter to step up. And with all the emotions gathered, Hunter and Ginny could get to go intimate and tag it as a mistake or give their relationship a new look. However, one thing is sure, Hunter won't be another boring guy in season three, as there's so much to him. Another big love about to explode on Ginny and Georgia is that of Max and Silver. And all fingers crossed, these two make things official pretty soon, because honestly, Max deserves it after she suffered a bad breakup with Sophie. Silver looks like she's down for everything as long as Max is entirely in. So hopefully, Max gets to put her heart in one place and allow love in again. Abby has been struggling with boys and her parents, which makes things even worse, and that's why she probably doesn't trust anyone. But see, Season three might be the time for Abby to get everything she truly deserves and finally explore a good relationship and have so much fun like her other friends. With what Austin witnessed his mother do and how his growth has been rough, this kid might finally have to go to therapy his mother has been keeping him away from. Like how Ginny started to harm herself, Austin might even get to do worse and start hurting people as he used to do. But the truth is that the kid is traumatized and he's not gonna get over the image of his mother getting rid of someone in his head. So hopefully, 
the show will provide him with the necessary help in season three. Fans already know the struggles that Abby, Max and Ginny are going through with family and also with relationships, but not so much has been revealed about Nora. It's Mang for a reason, and season three might have to throw Nora into more drama than she's been involved with. Ginny and Georgia 3 can only take a wild direction with all this drama, and the cast is also ready for the journey. The Millers will be back, which means Brianne Howie will reprise her role as Georgia Miller, and Antonia Gentry will return as Ginny. Austin Miller has so much character development to undergo in season 3, so Diesel Letteraka will return to reprise his role. Also, there's no Wellsbury without everyone's favourite mayor, and Scott Porter will return to keep things together. Zion still has so much to do with his new lover and his crazy ex, so Nathan Mitchell will return to reprise his role. Now, if Georgia gets out of jail, there still needs to be someone to make sure she returns to captivity, and that's Detective Gabriel Cordova. Even though many viewers find Gabriel annoying, Alex Mallory Jr. will still return for season 3. There's no Ginny and Georgia without Mang, so Sarah Weisglass is always excited and ready to jump back into her role as Max. Katie Douglas will also return as Abby, and Chelsea Clark as Nora. Ginny's love interest and Max's brother Marcus will also be back, and the actor Felix Mallard will make sure of it. The casting can't be complete without the cast who make the flashback an easy thing to get back to despite how rough it is. And for this, Nikki Rumel will return as teenage Georgia, and Kyle Barry as the teenage Zion. Many of the leading and supporting cast will return too, as the only thing that could stop that would be any change behind the scenes or scheduling conflicts. But Ginny and Georgia is a franchise now, and all the cast are dedicated to seeing it to the end. The show's writer, Sarah Lampert, mentioned that she already knows where season 3 could go, and that there will be surprises. She said, We have so many golden possibilities for storytelling based on how rich these characters are, and based on how many surprises we want to throw into season 3 that I'm being coy about, but we do have it planned out. The showrunner Deborah J. Fisher added, We know where season 3 begins and ends, and we know the end game. So, Peaches, it doesn't get any better than this. And since Sarah and Deborah have mentioned that they have it all planned out, then it means that writing the script and filming will start shortly after Netflix renews. And the only delay would be with post production. Ginny and Georgia 2 was released about two years after the first one, and that's because they finished filming around April 2022. And the post production lasted a while but ended in October 2022. However, according to Brianne Howie, the reason why fans didn't get to see Ginny and Georgia in 2022 was that it took Netflix about four months to transfer translate the season into 180 different languages, so that it could be released globally. So season 3 will also go through the same process, even if there's a quick renewal. And it could be until the end of 2024 before Ginny and Georgia hit the screen again. So what do you think about the drama set to happen? And what do you think should change in Ginny and Georgia 3? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and thanks for watching!